Uh, hey there, fellas. It's Force here with the latest game from Nintendo Blizzard. It's the hot single. This is Splatoover Watch. Is what you gotta do is you, uh, you gotta paint all the windows. We got here. We go. What you gotta do is you cover all the windows just like this. Just gotta get a little bit over here. Let's cover a bit over here. And once we're done, we kill ourselves. Hey, what's up everybody, Force here, and I wanted to just quickly tell you guys about this crazy bug that came up with the last patch. If you remember in a prior video, we talked about the fact that whenever big patches come through, there's always the option for something to break, and a lot of times this stuff gets figured out in the PTR testing. But because the Uprising event came out without any PTR testing, eh, there's some things that Blizzard might have missed, one of which is this new black window bug. Essentially, if you shoot any of the windows in Overwatch, and then look through a shield such as Orisa's, Reinhardt's, or Winston's, you can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's quite literally blacked out. Now, this is most obvious at the spawn for the attacking team on Numbani because the entire inside is nothing but window. But it doesn't really make a difference. It doesn't really matter because so what if you can't see out these windows? But there actually are some windows where it, it could have some kind of significance. Nothing huge, but some sort of significance. Uh, first one is the spawn in Gibraltar. If you're on that side and the windows are shot out and you're looking through a shield, you can't see anything. It's a lot of the ifs, ands, and buts. However, what about on Volskaya Industries? Because there's actually quite a few windows where seeing through them becomes critically important. And if you're, say, standing behind a Reinhardt, which point you'd be looking through his shield, you won't be able to see through them, which could make some for some tactical disadvantage. Now, it does appear like you can still see the red outlines of some enemy players. So it's not like you'd be blind completely to all enemy players. I mean, this honestly isn't that huge of a deal. I just thought it was kind of a funny little bug and I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to make you aware of it. And most importantly, just raise awareness so that hopefully Blizzard is going to look into this issue. I do believe that they, they know about it and they're looking to fix it. There's gonna be a patch coming out fixing a ton of the bugs. I mean, so many bugs we got. You're not, not being able to place turrets on moving platforms with the current patch. The fact that May no longer slows enemies on the current patch. And now this window thing, which is kind of a minor issue, but it's still something. It, it just so funny that this stuff happens. It, I don't know. It's kind of cool to try to find these little bugs that pop up when uh, new patches come through, things that Blizzard didn't catch. And some of them are really significant. Some of them are just kind of funny, like this, this blank window one. But we're expecting maybe later today, tomorrow, Tuesday is typically patch day, so most likely tomorrow, we'll be getting a patch to fix this window thing and all of the other issues that arose with the uprising event. This is just too, too funny. I'm, I actually kind of like this. For, you know what's really cool? about all of this honestly is this notion that I would like to see Blizzard add like a paintball mode to this game. Imagine if we could just recreate like Splatoon, a pretty awesome game by all accounts in Overwatch where whenever you shoot things, you get this little splatter effect of some sort of colored paint or something. It's just ideas, you know? They're custom game options, all this stuff, the fact that there might eventually be a map editor. These are just all ideas we're spitballing. It's funny. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to playing Splatoon for Watch. It's better than fucking ranked. See you later.